Hey guys, so I love doing my makeup and today I decided to make my first makeup video. I've been watching a lot of these beauty videos lately and I kind of wanted to try my own. So I did a plum matte smoky eye with a winged eyeliner. If you like this look then keep watching and hope you enjoy. To start I use Super Moisture Makeup Clinique. There's nothing left of it really. I use it as a concealer. And kind of blend it down here. Wow, it is really weird to talk to myself. <laughs> How do people do this? I really like this foundation because it's very lightweight. It's not full coverage, so you can still catch the freckles, you know. And it's a moisturizer too. Okay, there's nothing really left of this, but I like to wear this as a concealer. It's Estee Lauder Double Wear. Yeah, not that it's coming out. <laughs> yep, there's nothing left, but it is pretty good. Now to set the concealer, I use Makeup Forever HD High Definition Powder. I have a smaller brush so I can get underneath my eyes. I don't know about you, but under my eyes, I get a lot of smudging throughout the day, so I try to layer this on under my eye so it doesn't happen. I don't like <laughs> I don't like layering it on too strong because I don't like it to look too dry. For the blush, I'm using the Rocketure. The Benefit blush. I actually got this for free because at the store I asked her if she had any samples that they were gonna throw out and she just gave it to me. Gotta swoop it up, make that cheekbone look. So I'm not really good at contouring. This is like the closest I'll get to it is like sort of using the blush to make a little contour under the cheek. For brows I don't have a specific pencil so I kind of just blend colors from my Naked palette. I blend Buck and Dark Horse, and then I just kind of fill it in. Yeah, eyebrows are something that a lot of people forget to do, and then they realize they don't feel like their face is finished. Your brows are really important to the shape of your face. They make a big difference. Sorry, I'm stuffy. So I have this Carly Bible. Oh god, somebody's looking at me in the window. Hello, sir. Oh my god, are you waving at me? That's really creepy. All right, so I have this Carly Bible eyeshadow set that I ordered online. I'm going to be using this light color over here. Stop looking at me. Okay, so I'm taking this light color and I'm going to be putting it on just the inner corners of the eye and blend it up here. And I always like to do a smoky eye with a matte eyeshadow. If you're going for a more plain look where you just put one color all around, it's better to use a more sparkly color. So we're just going to do that on the inside. And then for the middle part of the smoky eye, I'm going to go for this lighter plum color right here. And I like to put my finger underneath here because sometimes eyeshadow falls onto your face. So I kind of just layer this on in the middle. And I blend it out, and I blend it a little bit up into the crease. I've never explained my makeup before while I did it, so this is new for me. Then I try to blend it into the lighter color that was on the inside. And I realized I forgot my primer. Smart. So I'm going to first put it on now because I forgot. Um, I use Urban Decay Primer. This will just kind of help it blend and stay on for longer. And then I'm going to take the lighter plum color and I'm going to blend it up towards the end of my eyebrow. But not touching, just kind of like swoop it towards. I'm going to use a clean brush to blend. I'm going to go back to that color Buck. And then I'm going to put that a little bit above the crease. Now I'm going to blend that in with the clean brush. You can blend that up closer to the brow. Now I'm gonna layer on a little bit more of my primer in the outer corner before I do the dark part of the shadow. 
I'm gonna go back to my palette right here and use the dark plum color. Now I'm just gonna layer that on the outside, the outer corner of my eye. And again, you're gonna wanna kind of aim it out towards the end of the eyebrow. Yeah, the reason I'm blowing on the brushes is because the powder on this palette kind of is a little too powdery and I don't want it to fall on my cheek. Again, I'm gonna take my clean brush and I'm gonna blend it again. And because I forgot my primer in the beginning, I'm gonna go back and just kind of do another layer of the light shadow in the corner. So again, I'm just gonna go back and take that light color at the end. Just fill that in another layer. Okay, so the video just cut off on me, so you kind of just missed me put the eyeshadow in the outer corner of the bottom of my eye. Basically what I just did is I used my Urban Decay Primer, I put it on the outside of my eye, I went back to my dark cranberry color over here, and I just kind of used it on the outside here. Smooth in my eye. I'm not sure if it also cut off this part, so I will just go over that again. I also went back to my Naked palette. I took the dark black color called Creep, and then I put that on the outer edge of the eye, just a little bit in the outer corner right here. And I'll show you again with my other eye. Hopefully the camera doesn't shut off on me again. For the other eye, I'm going to do the same thing, but this time remember my primer. Now I'm going to take my primer again. And this is the part that you missed with the other eye. The camera got shut off. But I'm just going to kind of layer that on the outside. And then I'm going to take my black color on the, on the naked palette. Now I'm just going to do the same thing and relayer the inner corner of my eye with the light color. First going to prime it. Now I'm just going to go back and take my light color on this palette. Just taking that dark cranberry again and layering it just before the black color just because it got a little lost in the blending. I kind of just do this with my fingers when I don't want to blend the color away but I just want to minimize it a little bit. Just kind of like pat up with my finger. Take my primer again on the outer corner of the bottom of my eye. Honestly, I don't know how people film for this long without the battery dying or the video ending. I've had so many interruptions. Now I lost my brush. I left my brush over there. Okay, have my brush. The camera's on. I'm gonna take my dark cranberry plum color. Just kind of go on the bottom here. I'm gonna go back to my naked palette, take that black color a little dip. I'm going to go in the very outer corner on the bottom, kind of connecting to where I put it on the outer corner on the top. All right, now back to that light color. We're going to go right under the eyebrows. Now I just want to blend that. I'm going to take that light color again and just kind of go over the inner corner over here. Now I'm just going to go in and do my cheeks a little bit. Got this new fan brush. It's really soft. And back to my Carly Bible palette, I'm going to take the dark color, but really just got to tap lightly because this stuff comes off really heavy. All you need is a little bit. You just want to like swoop it up here, up the cheekbone. Honestly, so light because if you dip it like a normal powder on this palette, it'll come off so dark. I made that mistake last week. I'm going to do the same thing, just take a little bit and then kind of frame the outside of my face. Kind of just gives a glow to your face. And you just do the outside and it'll make you look kind of tan without looking orange in the center of your face. And you want to make sure you kind of blend down here too. So it matches. Now I'm going to take that same brush, go to the lightest highlighter color. Again, just a little bit. And then go on the cheekbone just to highlight a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit and go down my nose 
most contouring I do on my nose, just kind of a little swoop. Put a little bit above your lip right here, on your chin, a little bit on your forehead, that's all I do. And I kind of want to blend it together with a clean brush. Honestly, I'm forgetting the order, the order of how I normally do my makeup because this is such a weird process right now. I'm talking to myself to the camera. Okay, I'm gonna take my Sephora brand liquid eyeliner. I normally use Stila black eye eyeliner, but I guess I'm just trying out a new one. It's not so bad. So you just wanna make sure you're lining it very close to your eyeline kind of a really thin line for most of it and then get thicker towards the outside. Okay, now for out. Now for the outer wing, you want to kind of start down here and just draw the line up at the end of where the eyeshadow ends when we pointed it out towards the end of the eyebrow. Just kind of line that with the eyeliner. Like that. You can go as high as you want. And then you kind of connect it with the top here. Okay. Now we're just gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Unless you want to be funky. Just kind of make them different. Don't do that. Gonna make that line and fill it in. <sighs> okay, so that is what I do for eyeliner. Now I'm going to take my mascara. So this is Benefit Bad Gal Lash. It's a little sample. I just started using it and I really like it. Um, for the eyelash curler, I start out first at the very outer edge of the lash to make sure that it curls up like that. Otherwise, I made this mistake for years. If you just do the very inside, the lashes kind of just go straight across and you don't see them as well. So just first go on the outer edge, then you move up a little bit, do it again, and finally go all the way towards the lash line and get that. I'm gonna take the mascara. You always want to make sure you get the, the lashes on the very outside because usually they get missed. Can you do the bottom lashes? Gosh, what is in my eye? Alright, just going to do the same thing on the other eye. Just going to kind of use a little concealer right under the wings because sometimes it kind of gets a dark spot under and I want to highlight them. What I like to do once I finish with my eyes I take the HD powder, Makeup Forever, and I just set underneath my eye again just to make sure it doesn't fall because all the time I just get like smears of makeup and it looks like I'm crying. As for the inner water lines of the eye, you could either choose a black color to get that more smoky look or you could choose a lighter color and open up your eyes a little bit more. I'm going to do the lighter color. So here I have another Sephora brand. Uh, Infinite Beige is the color. It's just a little cream colored eyeliner. Ow. Woo! If you want to not be tearing when this happens, because then it's just going to wash right out. Now for lips, Kat Von D Lovecraft. I love this lipstick because it's matte, but it still has a nice pigment to it. Honestly, I love matte lipstick way more than the shiny ones. I'm kind of, I'm going to use it to sort of Fill out the bottom as if it was a lip liner. I find that with matte lipsticks, it looks a little more natural. It looks like it could actually be your lips color. So I'm just sometimes I just use the back of my hand to blot it. Just wipe it off. <laughs> I'm just gonna dip a little bit of this Clinique color. It's matte suede. It's kind of like a nude lipstick, just in the middle. I just kind of do that to meet the color a little bit. A little fun thing I like to do is take the half-baked color, it's the gold with my pinky, just a little bit, and put it right in the cupid's bow. It's just really subtle, but adds a little bit of light onto your lips. 
And then if you want, I know some people like to do this, just take a brush and take a darker color. I'm going to use Buck just a little bit and go underneath the lip. And then it kind of creates a shadow as if your lip was really big. All right, and that is it. This is the finished look.